In a new interview with Metal Hammer, former Metallica bassist Jason Newstead shares his initial reaction to hearing and justice for all. You'll recall the iconic Metallica record famously excluded Newstead's bass tracks. The Metallica classic album is widely considered to be a fan favorite, but one criticism that has stuck with the album is its lack of bass track on the record. I was fucking livid, Newstead told Metal Hammer in the new interview. Are you kidding me? I was ready to go for throats, man. No, I was out of my head because I really thought I did well and I thought I played how I was supposed to play. Newstead characterized frontman James Hetfield and drummer Lars Ulrich as the curators of the Metallica sound, what they said goes. Quote, Lars and James were the original garage band duo as far as that goes. They always made the records that way, from No Life Till Leather. It was Lars and James, guitar and drums. On the original No Life Till Leather cassette, if you happen to ever see a real copy or a photo of a real copy in Lars' handwriting, an ink pen, on the label of the cassette it reads, Turn bass down on stereo. On No Life Till Leather, they mixed it how it was supposed to be mixed. There's the bass and there's the guitar from all the way back. But Lars didn't want that because it messed with his drums somehow. So when he sends the demo out to fucking combat records and whatever, his instruction is, turn down the bass before you even listen to this. Before you can even get going, just turn the bass down right from the get-go before you even start. That's where he's been his whole goddamn life, so why would it be any different? When it came to Injustice For All, they made Kill Em All that way, Ride that way, Master of Puppets that way, all of them. These two guys in a room, the way it's always happened. For the most successful metal band of all time. So you argue with this shit? I'm not really sure. Now it's become the best garage band album ever. For artists like Black Keys, White Stripes, Duo Jets, the different power duos of garage stuff. In a 2019 interview with the Metallica fan club So What, vocalist James Hetfield defended the sound of Injustice For All. He claimed at the time the band simply, quote, wanted the best sounding record, end quote, they could make. The fan magazine asked James Hetfield if Jason Newstead ever approached him or Lars to complain about the lack of inclusion of his bass tracks. He responded saying, quote, he probably did. I don't know what my answer was then, but it was kind of done. I mean, I will say it was not all about, fuck him, let's turn him down, that's for sure. We wanted the best sounding record we could make. That was our goal. We were burnt. We were friggin' fried. Going back and forth, playing a gig, no earplugs, no nothing. You go back in the studio, your hearing is shot. If your ears can't hear any high end anymore, you're gonna turn it up. So we were turning the high end up more and more and more and all of a sudden low end's gone. So I know that played a bigger part than any hazing or any ill feelings towards Jason for sure. We were fried, we were burnt. That's your latest update from Rockfeed. Be sure to click the subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on future stories. Check out the recommended videos on your screen and visit rockfeed.net for more.